Yeah, absolutely. Our plasma has been in the news so much lately because of the possibility of it really helping a lot of people who have COVID-19. But as you said, the FDA getting ready to give that emergency authorization to allow patients to get treated with plasma, patients who had COVID-19. But now they're saying, hold up, top, uh, top doctors and medical experts like Dr. Fauci is saying, we need a lot more research to be done. And it turns out doctors here in the medical center who are part of their own study say they agree. 21 to 28 days after a person with coronavirus recovers, blood can be drawn to look for COVID-19 antibodies. Antibodies are in the plasma, that yellow liquid that comes out after the blood. And they're so important because antibodies, when injected into a person with COVID-19, can help that person recover. And of all of the myriad of medications and treatments available for coronavirus, this is the one that has promise. The thing is, there just haven't been enough clinical trials to prove that theory. Dr. Wang, professor of emergency medicine at UT Health, points out there are hundreds of examples of treatments that seem to make sense on paper, but when we put them to the test, they don't work. So he agrees with top medical experts who say we need more data. Our experts are absolutely right. The gold standard test of the effectiveness of an intervention is the randomized controlled trial. And until we do the randomized controlled trial, we don't really know if the medication works. UT Health is ready to give that data. They just got an $8 million grant to start a randomized study in which some patients at Memorial Hermann would get the plasma and others would get the placebo. Hospitals in New York and Miami are also part of the study. About 1,000 people are participating. I've heard of individual patients who have done extremely well after receiving doses of convalescent plasma. So of course I have hope. There is encouraging research already happening at Houston Methodist. New numbers here. 136 coronavirus patients given plasma were more likely to be alive one month later compared to 251 patients who did not get the plasma. Yeah, Dr. Wang put it like this. He said, bottom line, we need to know if this is effective because if not, we need to start pushing resources into another plan, another treatment. Of course, we'll keep you posted on everything that's help that's happening regarding these trials and these tests and the data collected right here in Texas. For now, reporting live, Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. And some-